shops to get you something for your tea. I said, I'm just going down to the shops to get you something for your tea. I am running away with a Jamaican milkman, and we're going to live in the West Indies. <laughs> oh. Ma'am! Ma'am! Move it! <laughs> That's better. What is it, my love? Will you get me Gary Shorbers' autograph? <laughs> right then, lads. There's no way that Rice Pudding can lose to three o'clock at Doncaster. So if we all chip in 50p for this Yankee I've worked out, we'll all be rich men by opening time. Well, what do you say, Ray? No, it's no good asking me how I can. I owe young Gaylord Shepherd here 42,000 quid. So far? Well, you'll have to sub the lot of us then, Gaylord. Well, it's not as simple as that, Jack. I mean, I still owe him, what, £12,000 from the Snakes and Ladders Marathon we had on Saturday. <laughs> you know, you're as thick as a workhouse sandwich, the pair of you. Well, it's up to you then now, Douglas. What do you say? Well, I said, what do you say? I say, the world would be a better place if they made desperate damn prime minister. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you lot know he's on honeymoon. <laughs> Where's Queenie? Oi! It's tea time and I'm hungry. Where's Queenie? She said something about getting a job as a milkman in the West Indies. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mrs. Dan. She said she's going shopping in the West Indies. Oh, it'll be bananas for tea then. <laughs> before, aren't you, Mrs. Shepherd? You bet I have. I used to be the demon batsman of our street. Oh, sure is, Mrs. Shepherd. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Come on, I haven't got time to lark about with you kids all day. I've got things to do. I've got to go home and cook the tea. For a lot of lazy layabouts who don't care if I elope with a milkman. Right. Which side's one shot? <laughs> That were very nice, even if it was a bit late. <laughs> Manners, Jack. Must you always do that after a meal? That's considered to be a big compliment to the cook in China. Well, next time you feel an attack of the wind coming on, emigrate to Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> See who that is, Douglas. Hey, here's a good one. How do you fancy? No! no. Was it? Douglas? What? Who was that at the door? I don't know. I didn't look. <laughs> oh. Detective Inspector Morris. Oh, Mrs. Shepherd. Uh, I, I was out doing the shopping, and now Douglas was having his injection, and Jack were down at the vet with Mrs. Rawlins' daughter. She's bedridden, you know. Mrs. Rawlins, not the daughters. And Raymond working at the gas board. Bunny was at the uh, church fate in Ilkley, and uh, uh, what did you want them for, anyway? <laughs> Well, uh, uh, will you excuse me, Inspector? <laughs> no, I, I've come about excuse it. Excuse me, Molly. I've come about. Uh, excuse me, Inspector. Look, I've just left something in the bedroom that I've got to sort. <laughs> I've come about. I've come about. <laughs> <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I, I've come about. To... Yeah. You will I come about my retirement. What? Hey, what? Are you retirement? Well, I'm in 25 years is up next week and I'm having a bit of a farewell do at the Builder's Arms tomorrow at 8 o'clock and I thought you might all like to join me for having a drink or two so there's no ill feeling. What? <laughs> oh, well, you give me a lot to think about during the last few years, you know. I mean, take you, I mean, joining the Territorials for 12 months just for the sake of nicking a three-ton lorry bit at a time. <laughs> me? What are you talking about? I mean, you deny it, I can't prove it. But I know damn well you did it. 
<laughs> Just the same as I knew it was you lot who nicked that lorry from the back of Marks and Sparks a few years ago. It's a pity they got the wrong day for delivery of the tin meat stuff. Oh, I've often wondered what the hell he did with 20 gross of pink oversized roll-ons. Ah, well, we uh, don't know nothing about it. <laughs> but what I like best is when I caught him walking up the street with four chickens stuffed up his jumper. And he said he was fetching you some eggs, but he was a very slow walker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've kept a record of all my conversations and classes with you lads. <laughs> Give me something to think about in retirement. You mean you like writing your memoirs? Hey, <laughs> nay. I thought of publishing them under the title of uh, 20th Century Fairy Tales. <laughs> well, see you all tomorrow. Ta ta. Ta ta. Oh, well, oh, his retirement. Isn't it marvellous? He comes to see us about his flaming retirement. Why could he just come out and say so? Well, what do you mean? Well, what do you think we all rushed off for? I've just shoved four pounds of streaky bacon down the waste disposal. <laughs> <laughs> Swedish magazines down the loo. <laughs> you are a stupid lot. You never use your heads. I'll tell you this, one of these days you will end up doing time. <clears throat> What's up with him? You shouldn't have mentioned time, Queenie. When he went out, he swallowed three ladies' watches. <laughs> Ah, oh, well, I had one knocked over once. Oh, you know, we're going to miss you, Percy. And I shall miss you, I shall. Pity we didn't know about you going earlier. We could have got together and bought you a little going away present. Oh, they did. The lads gave it to me earlier. Have a look. Oh. He's inscribed, but I couldn't read it. I haven't got my glasses. Oh. Just Presented after 30 years. <laughs> Hang on, the, uh, the light's a bit better over here. Presented after 30 years' faithful service to Alice Updike <laughs> from all her friends at the co-op. Um, <laughs> stupid clogs. They, they've spelt your name wrong. I'll get it fixed and bring it round to the station tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Oh, hello, George. I don't think you two have met. Uh, Queenie, this is Inspector Hardacre, my replacement. Uh, George, this is Mrs Shepherd, better known as Queenie. How do you do? No, no, we haven't met. Oh, well, uh, we were just getting the last round in. Would you care to join us? But I have made it my business to find out all about you and your brood, Mrs Shepherd, and I shall be keeping an eye on you at all times. How do you mean? I mean like now. It is closing time, so I'll thank you not to order any more alcohol and to drink up what you have in the time permitted by the law. Inspector Morris, you seem to have had enough. I'll give you a lift back to the station house. Oh, well, th 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 thank you, Ollie. Well, good, good night, lads. Six and a half minutes to drink up. Well, we'd better get him in. Yeah, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Well, you heard what he said. Come on, boy. 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 Come on, Come on, boy. What are you on about, ma'am? That is the new man, Inspector Ardacre. Well, what's wrong with that? He's only a copper. At the moment, he's a new broom. And you know what they say about new brooms, don't they? They sweep clean. Three minutes. Good night, Mrs. Shepherd. Good night, all. Mr. Ryan.
Nice radio, Inspector. You see, I'd, I'd just thought I'd come outside to get a better look at it in the daylight, you see? Well worth seven quid. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good God. Lenny Douglas, the true Christian spirit. Matins tomorrow, the collective will be returned by the end of the month, and don't forget to promise to come to choir practice at the end of the week. And I hope your mother likes the pamphlet. And I tell you, another ten minutes it'd have had me signed up as a nun. <laughs> Get an impossible as this. It's sticking to us like toffee to a schoolgirl's knickers. <laughs> Something's got to be done. Yeah, hard fish. Oh, Douglas, don't be a twit all your life. Take a day off once in a while. <laughs> it's just what he'd like, isn't it? Then he could then he could charge you with the salt and battery of a police officer. Well, what are we gonna do, Queenie? I mean, he's making us the laughing stock of the flats. I don't know. You know what they say, don't you? If the worst comes to the worst and you can't beat them, join them. Join them? Join them. Sunshine. I've got a very important appointment with a very important gentleman, and I've got to look my best. Now then, for the winners, a bag of licorice all sorts. Hey! 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 And for the losers, hey! a bag of licorice all sorts. Hey! Oh, thanks, hey! Queenie. Hey! 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 Four pints and four in reserve. My mouth's like the inside of Harvey Smith's britches. <laughs> About the same size as well. Uh, yes, you're all right. You're all right? That's that heartache, that is. It's got everybody round here, that junk. It's like living on a pogo stick. Yeah. You're quite right. Well, look at our mum, eh? She's not done much in spite of all the chat, has she? No. Yeah. Right. Come on, then, let's get them down. Oh, yeah. well done, oh, hey, Cheers, all okay. Cheers, lad. Right. Cheers, all the best. Cheers. <laughs> hey, fellas! Look! <laughs> Thank you very much, Mrs. Shepherd. I shall follow that up. Yes, it's a pleasure, Inspector. <laughs> Hello, lads. Hello, lads. You've got a nerve. Judas. Matahari. <laughs> Keyhole Kate. <laughs> now then. Now then, nothing, Queenie. We just saw you sitting with old heartache. Now, what's that all about, eh? I simply told him where to find 14 gross of missing lipsticks. And he was so pleased, he gave me a fiver. Mum, that was my lipstick. Yes, well, you 
couldn't sell it, Raymond, not at the moment, the way things are. And your name never came into it, so there's no harm done, is there? Our own mother, a copper's nark. Yeah. Well, be that as it may, what are you having? Well, I'll have a gin and tonic. Oh, no, you don't. There's none of your will. We're not drinking out of this. It's tainted money. Hey, so look, take that. Change it for five ones. <laughs> Yes, Mrs. Shepherd agreed all your information has been accurate and it does me no harm to recover stolen property, but I need some arrests. But surely you've arrested somebody during the last month. Well, yes, but I'm hardly likely to get my MBE as a result of two bicycles without rear lights and Charlie Earnshaw relieving himself against the back of the town hall now, am I? Well, I can't do your job for you. All I'm asking is... Are you coming for a game later, Mrs. Shepherd? Not now, love. I haven't got the time. Does your mother know you smoke? Does your wife know you talk to strange women? <laughs> so I was saying, surely you can put the finger on somebody for me. I'll make it worth your while. The reason I haven't put the finger on anybody yet, Inspector, is because I think I've got a line on the syndicate. The syndicate? Shh. Syndicate? Yes. Surely you've heard of them. No, I can't say I have. Well, no, perhaps not you not being a local boy. Anyway, if you want to strike at the roots of crime in this city, you've got to break up the syndicate. The syndicate? Shh. The syndicate. It's a sort of Leeds mafia. <laughs> you mean they... Yes. And they... Oh, yes. Even... Yes. What the hell am I talking about? Pardon? I said that's just what I'm talking about. Now, for some months, I have been keeping my ear very close to the ground. And? It plays hell with your knicker elastic. <laughs> oh. You're right, Inspector. It's too serious a subject as this for joking. No, and I think that I'm on to something. What? What? Ah, it's too early to tell yet. But as soon as I've got something definite, you'll be the first to know. I promise you that. You will be the first to know. Oi! Blue bottle! <laughs> Oi! You. Yes, madam? I want to see the boss. Big fella. Big fella? Yeah. Governor. Low, you know, what's his name? Uh, Inspector Hard knows him. You mean Inspector Hardacre? That's him, long streaker. Looks as though he put vinegar on his cornflakes. That's him, that's who I want to see you. Uh, don't bother, Sergeant, I'm here. Now, who are you and what's your business with me? Oh, I ain't saying nothing with old jug ears here blimping every dicky bird I see. Oh, right, then, then here. <laughs> now then. Now then. Down, Inspector. Mrs. Shepherd? Yes. What are you doing dressed up like that? Well, I can't go into a police station dressed as myself. I'd never be able to hold my head up round here again. I've got my good name to think of. <laughs> now, come on, I haven't got much time. Do you know that vacant warehouse at the back of Pontefract Lane? Yes. Uh, well, my sources tell me that six of the best will be meeting there today to talk shop. And I think I'd be very careful, if I were you, how I handle it. Kindly don't tell me how to do my job, Mrs Shepherd. I'm... All I'm saying is the less that they know about it, the better. They've got spies everywhere. If I were you, I'd go on my own. Just me by myself? Oh, don't worry. They won't get violent. No, no, they're too smart for that. No, but um, I'd go armed, just in case. Right, then. Well, uh, I'll be off. You old skinflint, you can stuff your offer to the left of your truncheon, you can. I know what the monk is, whether you believe me or not. <laughs> your flies are open. <laughs> yes. Sergeant, put me through to. Uh, no, no. Now get in touch with. Uh, no! No. Get hold of all... No. No, cancel all that, Sergeant. I do nothing at all. 
nothing at all. Mrs. Shepherd's friend. Are you going to play with us at all? Oh, we don't want him on our side. He's no bullets in him. No, I can't, Jack. It's past three o'clock. It'll cost me my license if old Ardacre. If old Ardacre what? Hello, Inspector. We were just getting the last oh. round. Oh, Perhaps you'd like to sit right. down and join us. Do you realise what time it is, Mrs. Shepherd? Yeah, well, start pouring, Cyril, and I'll be showing the Inspector here some of my holiday snaps. I'm sure he's quite amused by them. <laughs> and there's another. I <laughs> oh, didn't know we'd been on holiday. <laughs> Most interesting. <laughs> I think this round would better be on me. What you all having, then? Oh, oh my, the scotch and ginger. Four oh, pints and a scotch and ginger. Oh, and I nearly forgot. Twelve lemonades. Twelve lemonades? Hey, you're Hey, you're 